Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial we will be looking at uh, the Google login using React. So basically this is the interface of the application you can see that Google login. If I press the login button, it will be displaying my name here which is Coding Siksha and the email address geekygotham1987 at the red gmail.com and this is a profile picture of my Google account. So this is a short little application that we will be making here. So first of all you just need to create a new React application so just go to Google here and search for code sandbox so basically it is a online IDE for react here so just select this and the first result, result which comes in just click this result and uh, after that create sandbox here and then you select your application which is react here so it will be making a boilerplate uh, code for you for react here you can see that this is a react application and for this specific purpose we will be using this library which is react google login so this is the library that we will be using here this is there on npm node package manager if you search here react log uh, google login so in order to install it just execute the simple command which is npm install react google login but i am making in this platform here so in order to add a dependency it is very easy there is a button out there given here of add dependency just click this button and then you can just uh, name your dependency which is react google login so just uh, type this and you will see this result uh, coming in so just click this result and it will install your library in the background you can see that it is installing here so just wait as it installs here so it has successfully installed it so now we just need to include it so right here at the top here you just want to write here import google login uh, from react google login so you can see that it is available here so just click it and now we have successfully uh, imported it so you can see that i have just copy pasted this line here written this line import google login and uh, or you can just put a brace and then include this this is means the same thing now we just need to copy paste this tag here of google login inside our render method so just copy this here and I will paste it here just let me just change this to let's suppose uh, login with Google and uh, I don't need this h2 so just delete this h2 and copy paste your Google login tag here you can see that and now we just need to replace our client ID so basically in order to get the client ID it is very easy guys uh, we just need to go to a website which is Google Developer Console where you can just create your app and get the app ID and uh, API key all that stuff just go to Google Developer Console here go to this site and uh, first of all you must create a Google account in order to use this and then you just create a project from which you can just re retrieve the API key so I have already created one project here so go to credentials here and then you will be able to get your client id so just wait it is loading here here just create credentials select this and create oauth client id so just select this and after that it will be asking that application type it is a web application so select this and uh, here you just need to provide your website url on which website you are making your application uh, it is very easy for this i it provides your web uh, a app URL so this is my app URL if you copy paste it you can just see it online this is the online app here you can see that so this is my full URL so I will just control a control C and then I will paste it here paste this URL and uh, just delete this slash here it will not be allowing the sad slash and press enter so just add this and uh, in the authorized redirect URI you don't want to enter anything if you are following me so just press uh, press the create button and it will give you a uh, OAuth client ID. So just wait. You you can see that guys, it has given me two things. The, this is client secret, but uh, in this case I only need the client ID. So just press the copy button and your client ID has been successfully copied. Now you just make to sure that just delete this client ID from here and copy paste your newly generated client ID here so copy paste it here and now we just need to uh, we will be writing over this on success which is response google so we will just write const and then followed by the name of the function that is response google 
so this will be an arrow function so basically it uh, it will be getting the response which is sent by the api so i will just write response here and then i will be just be console logging the response console log response here that's it if you just uh, save this and now you will see that guys a login button is there of google here so now if i copy paste this url and look it in my browser and press this button and go to inspect element and go to console here i will see a response which is coming back from the api so just wait here uh, if i press the login button you will see that a window is appearing here and now we are getting a response back from the api so it contains various things guys you can see that the google id access token profile object so inside this profile object we have the email address uh, given name which is coding siksha image url that is profile pic name also now we are will be displaying these values here so for that guys we need to first of all declare some state variables so let me just create some space here and uh, right here in the function here just before it we will be declaring some state variables we will be ho using hooks for that react hooks so first of all we will be declaring a name comma set name so basically this is react hooks this is a name variable and this is a function in order to update this and we will be using the use state hook of react i am ex assuming that you you uh, know this concept of react here in this i will be providing the default value which will be null here that's it and after that i will be doing the same thing for the email also email set email and uh, the initial the initial value of email will be null that's it <clears throat> the third thing will be required for uh, that is profile picture url so we will be typing url set url that's it this is just a convention for the methods and the initial value for the url also will be null so that's it so this is my state variables guys now we just need to initialize them uh, use state is not defined uh, let me just see why it is showing me this message uh, use state is not defined oh sorry guys we need to just import this use state so inside this you will see that put a comma here and uh, in the curly brackets you just need to stay use just press uh, write this use state and now you can just uh, use this hook here of use state so just make this change guys and now after this variables now we can just set the name email and url by calling this set name method and accessing response dot profile object so inside profile object we have the name property that's it similarly we will be setting the email which will be response dot profile object dot email and uh, last but not least we have the uh, url profile url profile picture this will be response dot profile object dot and for the picture guys let me just show you the response here real quick uh, you can see that profile object and inside this we have this image url you can see that so now i will be just be writing image url here image url that's it guys so we have successfully set it our name email and url now we can just uh, paste these uh, inside this uh, let me have this uh, after mm, i think that inside this i can just print out inside h2 tags this is welcome colon and then i will be concatenating my variable which is name that's it similarly i will be concatenating the email address also email colon followed by email and uh, last but not least we have the profile picture so for that we will be having the image tag source will be equal to the uh, url that's it and additional alt attribute i also need to provide which is which will be equal to the name of the person that's it just close the image tag now the application is complete guys so this is all the code required for your google login now if if i save all this code and now if i look back to the application if i refresh this application you will see that guys if i hit the login button i will be seeing my name email address and uh, the profile picture you will see that guys coding siksha 
geeky gautam 1987 at the rate gmail dot com and this is my profile picture so this is a short little tutorial guys i just wanted to share with you how to authenticate with google using react using the simple library so thanks so much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel by hitting the red subscribe button near the bottom of the video and also tapping the notification bell icon and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much